If you are an experienced corporate professional, but you struggle with confidently answering the tell me about yourself question in a job interview, there is a high chance that you might be coming across as underqualified, too junior, or you might be told that you're simply not the right fit for the position that you've applied for. This question is the most important question in a job interview because statistically, how you perform in the first few minutes of an interview will determine whether you successfully move forward to the next round and hopefully get the job offer, or it'll determine whether you'll get rejected and removed out of the interview process altogether. So today's video is a well long overdue version of my 2016 video where I talked about how to answer the tell me about yourself question. And this is specifically the right video for you if you are an experienced corporate professional, because when it comes to answering this question, you need to showcase yourself as the most qualified person for the position that you're applying for so that you can be seen as the number one hiring choice by employers. By helping corporate professionals in the work that I do, teaching you how to thoroughly elevate your presence and communicate your worth in your career and in interviews has helped just one of my clients go from manager of finance to strategically making a move to a manager of strategy and operations within just a couple of months. And now she's at a director level. Another one of my clients went from unemployed part-time consultant slash part-time stay-at-home mom to then success successfully landing a full-time permanent project manager position at a Fortune 500 company, the ideal company that initially she wanted to get into by also learning the strategies and approaches. So let's get into the steps on how to answer Tell Me About Yourself. So there are four steps to successfully answering this question. Now, step one is to introduce yourself at the most recent title or role and give an overview of your three to four main areas of responsibility. So what this means is you are going to share your job title, your number of years of experience, and then at a high level, outline your three to four key areas of responsibility. So as an example, it could sound something along the lines of, I'm an experienced product manager at ABC Company and have over eight years of experience in product management within the software slash tech industries. And in my role, I've managed blank, developed blank and successfully implemented blank. And those blanks are going to be filled with what I call keywords, which are derived from the job description itself. And this leads me to an extremely important point. Before the interview, you want to make sure that you thoroughly know the job that you're applying for. In order to get the job offer, you need to be able to elevate yourself to be a match to that position, but you can't be a match to that position if you don't actually know what that position is asking for. And really quickly, before we get into step number two, if you are an experienced corporate professional and you've been going on interviews for the last few months, but you have gotten zero job offers and you want to be able to elevate your presence so that you can get hiring managers to notice you, then comment elevate down below in the comments where I will then send you my direct link to my four-step masterclass on how to elevate your presence so that you can get your dream job offer. So do that right now, comment elevate in the comments below. Now on to step number two, quickly summarize your work history in a succinct way that tells an engaging story of how you got to where you are. You wanna make sure that you keep this to one to two sentences for every relevant position. So for example, you could say something like, previous to this, I was a senior product analyst at XYZ company where I handled blank. Again, blank is where you're going to fill in your keywords and you're gonna to wanna to do this for every relevant position so that it all adds up to an engaging story as to where you are now and how did you get to where you are now. Now on to step number three, after telling your story, bring up an accomplishment, additional skills, qualifications, or designations aligned to the role. Now for step number three, after you've told your engaging work history story, you then want to add on top of that an accomplishment or any additional skills, designations, or qualifications that you have that are aligned to the role. So for example, you could say something along the lines of, in addition, throughout my career, I've been recognized as someone who has strong relationship management skills with key stakeholders, and I've been able to consistently leverage those relationships throughout my career to drive issues and projects to a clear conclusion. 
And on to step number four, the final step, close your answer off with why this matters to them. So you want to acknowledge exactly what this hiring manager or this company is looking for in this particular position and why you are a match for it. So to add to our example, you could say, I understand that you're looking for an experienced product manager who can manage key relationships and lead projects successfully. And because I have that experience, I'm confident that I can add value to your team in this position. Of course, you can say it any way you like, as long as you're reassuring them and letting them know that you know what they want and that you have what they're looking for. Now, if you are struggling to present yourself confidently in front of hiring managers to get those promotions or those job offers that you know you deserve, despite the fact that you've worked really hard and despite your years of experience, I would love to help. If you truly want to understand the A to Z process on how to be seen as that number one choice for hiring managers, then comment elevate below down below in the comments, where I will then send you the direct link to my four step in-depth masterclass, where I'll teach you how to elevate your presence so that you can confidently make that next career move and land the job offer that you want. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a like, a thumbs up, and share this with your friends and subscribe as well if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next video.